Mason, a very warm welcome to Southampton. You've signed a season long loan with the club. How do you feel? Yeah, over the moon to get it finally sorted. Um, it's been a, a long, long process to get it to this point. Um, I'm just over the moon to be here and I can't wait to get part of the project. Obviously, uh, um, luckily for me, um, so far I've had quite a lot of experience in, in the Premier League and also in a lot of other leagues, League One and the Championship, I've been on loan before. Um, and I had a few options, but as soon as I spoke to the, the gaffer, Russ, um, but I made my decision that I wanted to be here straight away and it were a no-brainer from then. So uh, it was a lot of hard work to get here, but now I'm here, I'm over the moon to be here and can't wait to get started. Yeah, the manager's been saying you've had like Premier League opportunities and possible moves abroad as well. So what was it that he said to you that convinced you this was the right place? Many different reasons, to be honest with you. I think obviously the, the, it, it, I did have those other opportunities, but I just think the way that the manager comes across and the style of football that, that he plays is, is suited to me to a T. Um, and I think the, the, the way he spoke and the passion that he spoke and I just felt like I, I, was, I was wanted, um, which has been very important for me because there's been points that, that over the last few years where I've not really felt like that and to, to be wanted by someone and to be part of a project of seeing where the club can go and what direction and, and things like that is something that I want to be a part of and I want to be a part of getting the club back to where it should be and, and, and going down as, as as it's been part of helping the team do that. Yeah, you spoke about the style of play. How do you feel like your own game kind of fits into that? Uh, perfectly, perfectly. Um, I think over the years, people have seen me play a lot of different positions. Um, it's not something that I'm over the moon with, but it's obviously something that I'm capable of doing. Um, I'm a centre back. I want to play centre back, um, and I think the way that this I'm a ball playing centre back, and I think with this this manager and the way that this team plays, that's perfect for me to showcase my abilities. Um, I don't think I've had many chances to do that so far, so I feel like I've got a big point to prove uh, personally. But I feel like I can help the team massively by by um, that 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 quality that I believe that I have, which is a ball playing centre half. And your target obviously is to come here and play as many games as you can and become a regular in the side? My target's promotion. Promotion, that's my target. I've come here to, to, to get the to help the boys and um, obviously I have a belief in my ability my ability that um, I'll come in and I'll I'll play the games. Um, but more than that it's 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 playing with quality and getting promotion, that's the target. Um, it's not just about me on a personal level, I wanna I want the team to do well. Um, I, I believe that I'll, I will be able to make a, a big difference to the squad and the team, not just on the pitch but off the pitch. Um, I've, I'm, I'm quite loud, I'm quite vocal, um, so I think that might be able to help help the boys go throughout the year because obviously being the massive club in in, um, in the league, there's always a target on your back. It's something obviously that I've experienced with my loan at West Brom when West Brom just got relegated. Um, it was kind of a similar position, but I, I ended up playing right back there. But the, it was the biggest club in the league at, at that time, and every single week there's a target on your back. That's their biggest game of the season, playing the biggest team. So you've got to be up for it every single week, and that's something that I'm ready for and a challenge that I'm ready to embrace. Yeah, that season you had with West Brom, you came up just short in the yeah. playoffs. How much does that add we to don't your talk motivation? About that. We're not, as long as you don't talk about penalty, we're fine. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't going to mention that. As long as you don't talk about the penalty, we're fine. Yeah. Um, no, but to mass, go one better. Yeah, to, well, to not even go to the playoffs is obviously the hope. I think I think the ability that's in this team and in this squad uh, we definitely should be looking higher than the playoffs. Um, but yeah, definitely it's something that is a hunger. To, to go on and do and to be a part of. I think it's no secret, everybody here believes that we, we should be going for promotion and I believe that myself and I think with the ability that we've got in this squad, um, player for player and the, the, the strength that we're still adding to, 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 the, to the squad, I think we've got more than 
the, the chance to do that. It's just about being in the right mindset of consistently getting results and that's what makes the championship so difficult because the games come thick and fast and like I said, when they come thick and fast, so you might have a Saturday Tuesday game and it's, it's their biggest game of the season playing Southampton. So you've got to be up for somebody wanting it just as much as you every single week and that's going to be a massive part of it. So it's about getting the mindset right and being ready for that and then hopefully our ability and coupled with the hard work will show us through and take us through to what we all the end get, the end goal is, which is definitely promotion. Have you had a chance to sort of meet the rest of the lads and do you know any of them already? Um, no, not 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 particularly. I've not had a chance to meet them yet. It's been a long day. Um, obviously, I've had to come up from all the way up north, as you can hear from my accent. Um, so it's a long way down south. So um, I missed the boys from training. Um, but there's a couple of boys that I, I do know. Um, uh, I was in uh, the same England youth setup as Shay Adams. He's my age, so I know Shay. Um, I played in the England under 21s with Jack Stevens, so I know Steve-O. And I was in the same youth team at Barnsley as Jamesbury. So I've known Jamesbury since I was like 15, 14. Well, since he came to Barnsley, I was there. So yeah, there's a few of the boys that I know, but I'm sure I'll get to know them over time and hopefully we can all push in the right direction and achieve something together that, that we'll all remember forever.